Welcome to Web Services, APIs, and OData. Hey, I'm Eric, and this is kind of episode two uh, of a little series on OData, on getting OData from C Sharp, getting OData Business Central OData from C Sharp. In the first episode, we kind of made it work and, and got some data out and, and stopped there. So in this episode, I want to take it a bit further and, and explore some of the options. Uh, also, to try to answer some of the questions and comments that we got on the first video. So let's get into it because there's a lot to cover. Here is the, the program we had. Um, this is kind of where we left it off. So if I run this guy, it connects to my, let's go here, it connects to my, whoops, that's not really what I wanted to do. It connects to my BC, lists all the chart of accounts, um, and that's kind of it. Um, so one of the things that I've been, I was playing around with last time was how to inject the, the company name in the URL. And uh, I just patched the uh, the request in this event, but it is actually better to uh, to add it to uh, to the base service route. Um, then you're locked into that company on, on the context. Uh, again, pros and cons. Uh, but let's let's do it like this. Um, and let's just verify that this actually works. So now we do company Hogart in in the UL, and uh, we do not patch the UL, and this still works great, excellent. So the next topic that I just want to touch about is that now we're just getting all chart of accounts, and uh, of course we can do that. And then this is the, you know this is a list in C Sharp, and we could do filtering and and all sorts of interesting options in C Sharp. But in many cases, you do not want to just dump all your data out and then do the filtering on the client side. You want to do the filtering at the source. And the best way to accomplish that is actually to, um, to add a query option. So we can chart of counts dot add query option. And the query option that we want to use call is called dollar sign filter. And then we write a OData filter statement. So in this case, we can do net change greater than zero. Um, so this is this is OData syntax. But what's interesting about this is that this gets sent to Business Central. Business Central will turn this into a true filter and apply that as a filter on the on 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 the. Uh, the find statement. Uh, so we are not getting tons of records transferred that we do not need. We're only getting the ones that we need. So let's try to see if this works. I have great hope. Great hope that this will work. Let me kind of random what the screen this one will start on. Boom. We got all the accounts that has a positive balance. So that's pretty cool. Um, so add query option, that's your friend, uh, to make sure that your queries are actually uh, filtering in the right spot. Another question was that, how do we actually modify something or insert? So let, let's add a chart of account. Let's add an account. And um, maybe I should actually start by looking at what do we have here. So we have this add query option function, what does that return? Well, the type of this is actually a, a data service query. But, but in, in the end, what we will end up with is, is a list of a type called chart of accounts, plural. Uh, so we can create a, uh, let's see what we have. We don't have any namespaces, that's good. So we can do var chart of account equal, and then it's called BC18, that's the namespace, and we got chart of accounts dot, and then there's a static function called create chart of accounts. Takes a parameter, in this case, this is the uh, the primary key, 
So we'll call our account no one no number one hundred. Oh, it's hard to say. And now the CUA object is just you know a normal chart of accounts. So name equal YouTube demo from C sharp. Um, and our context has a function called add to, and then you can see all the names. So add to chart of accounts, it takes a chart of accounts. So this is all plural. And the reason that it, this is plural is because if we go into web services uh, and find page 16, I think it is. Come on, BC. Come on, come on. Wow, I totally broke this. See that? Huh. Anyway, here is 16. It, it, it's exposed with a service name called chart of accounts. So the singular entity, entity is still a chart of accounts, not a chart of account or just account. So whatever name you expose here is actually going to be the entity name. Um, so that's why this kind of looks create chart of accounts, but it's only one. Anyway, that was getting sidetracked a bit. So we add that to the context, but this is not enough. So now we have added and what we need to do now is actually to go and say to the context, save the changes and save changes meaning sending whatever you have done back to BC. Let's just get rid of all this. Um, or we could try to be, oh, let, let's, let's actually get rid of this to begin with. I want to see the data inside Business Central. So I'm running this. Let's see where it shows up. It shows up on this screen. Well, nothing is going to be outputted here. So the program is done. Let's go back into Business Central, check our chart of accounts. And boom, we have account 100, YouTube demo from C Sharp. So that was pretty easy. Four lines of code in C Sharp to create an, an account. And if we look at this, this is, this is fine. Last date modified uh, and all that good stuff. So if, if no, you can't see that because, uh, because, of my big head, but uh, it says today, meaning tomorrow, but th that time zone, so that's, that's another video at some point. Anyway, so we added an, an account, which is great. We could also do the modification down here in the loop if we wanted to. Um, uh, so this is pretty cool. Um, one of the other questions that I got was that, hey, Eric, when you did the, let me go and, okay, let me just put this guy into the clipboard. So when I did the connected services, and connected to this guy, so authorization. I got a, a quite an impressive list here of everything that's exposed as a web service. But then somebody asked, but hang on, what about all the stuff that's exposed as an API? Uh, they're not on this list. And you're right, they're not on this list. They're actually on a different endpoint. So this is the OData v4 endpoint, but API stuff is located on the API slash version of the API and, and current version is 2.0. Uh, so if I do this, I get 96 uh, function here, uh, functions, 96 uh, different uh, services that are exposed. Um, and we can see that we have a vendor. So this is not plural, this is singular, that's fine. Um, so those are simply in two different spots and you might run into the fact that you could need both. But 
if we want to do both and I, maybe we should do this yeah let's do that um we actually need to do something first um we need to go in here and then we need to look at what's generated and we got uh, the c-sharp file generated um which is which is great but if we take a look at this guy oops and we search for .xml. We can see that in here there's a reference to a file called odata service csdl.xml. That's this guy, uh, which is not named after how we renamed the file. So this is kind of weird. So what we need to do, let's just call this dash bc18 here. So we, now we're modifying the generated file and we're gonna change this one to be dash bc18 the same thing here the xml file so this is rename let's just run and see if this still works this will probably fail because it's trying to insert a chart of account that already exists um, but that's okay Let's see what the error is. The record already exists. So this still works, which is great. So what we can do now is that we can go in and then we can add, let's see, I forgot if I still have this one in my clipboard. I need this one. I can go in and manage connected services, OData, and now I select the API guy and I do the same thing here with authorization colon and this guy. I select all of them, there are none of those, and I go in here and then I call this one for BC API, and I put it in, this in a different name space. This is very important because the nav entity uh, that creates our context is named nav so so if we put them in a in the same namespace they would collide uh, so we're making sure that they're in different namespaces and uh, it's generated and let's go close this guy we're gonna save things and let's look at our solution now so now we have two cs files and two xml files so if we were Proper, we probably go in and, and, and rename again in this guy, but we don't care. So let's run this one again. So now we just, and this one will still fail unless I'm super fast in deleting this guy. Let's see how fast I am. Huh. Boom. So this still worked perfect so what we can do is basically we can take a copy of this guy and uh, and change so we work with something else and it's not to waste you guys time I actually did that before we started the video um, I'm just gonna switch so oh and go away so now this is name three and this is main zero so you can see here that the URL is slightly different so in this case, we have the same start as we just saw in, in, the, in the search description, but now it's not company, it's called companies. And you specify the ID of the company. And if I go into BC and find, um, and there are several ways of doing this, but the, the, again, this worked for me. So that's what I'm using right now. If I open, the page inspector and we can see that the system id for this one well we can't because it's that's behind my big head let's see if we can somehow manage to get that somewhere else there we go uh or maybe not come on stay with me bc d00 ace this is this is the company ID, so if we go back, D00 Ace. 
so the rest is kind of the same because we're getting the context out of the new namespace. So you see, it's still called nav. And we can just reuse our uh, little event uh, function to add in the uh, authentication. And now I'm just grabbing vendors because we had uh, we we had a vendor exposed, so we got vendors, and and this works the exact same when when sorry just vendors. Um, and the interesting thing here is that even though the 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 number field is called no uh, dot on uh, on the vendor table. Uh, that is exposed as number in this API and it, and the name is exposed as display name. But let's try it out. And we got the five names of our five vendors. That's pretty cool. So we can actually you know, let, let's remove this boundary here for a second and then just gonna do some slight patching here and say this is context two. Uh, don't, don't need to create something. We just wanna grab some data and context two here. Um, and data two and data two. So, so now we're connecting. Let's see how this goes. Just want to show that we can actually work with both of them at the same time. So we got our vendors, and then we got an error. An error code unauthorized. What did I? Do? I forgot something. I probably forgot something. Let's see what I did wrong here. We got con service to context. You see there, we're missing the the thingy. That, so we need to add the events the right one. So that's kind of obvious that why it was not authorized. Let's try again. Last try. And that's the, like the worst thing you can say. This is the last time we do something because then we know something will break. Anyway, it did. We got our vendors from the API and we got the chart of accounts from the web services. Uh, so that, that's pretty cool. One thing I want to say here is that now we have played with two different parts and page pages exposed as web services are going away. So they are, I can't remember if it's in the next version or the next version after that, but those are going away and are getting replaced by by the API pages. Um, so, but but as you can see here, from, from the perspective of C Sharp, it's the exact same thing. It's just a matter of what URL you're, you're accessing. Um, and, Adding a chart of account was easy. Uh, four lines of code and you're done. So this is pretty cool. I think in the next episode, we're gonna look at how to authenticate with uh, OAuth instead of a basic, because basic authentication is also going away. So it's actually pretty bad demoing from my part that we're using uh, basic authentication here. So look out for, for the next episode in this series uh, and let me know in the comments below if there's anything else you want to see me do with, with Odata and C Sharp. Um, lots of things that we can still do. So let me know in the comments below right after you subscribe. See you again next time. Take care.